Hi, Liz here. Well, today begins uh, my third week of uh, being down with uh, COVID-19. So, after managing to get through 2020 and most of uh, 2021, I finally uh, contracted the virus. So, uh, I thought I would explain a little bit of my experience if you're interested and share, share with you uh, the ups and downs of it. If you wanted to hear about it, I don't know, but I'll just go ahead with it. Just, uh, <clears throat> I had considered filming some of this as it was happening, but you quickly uh, lose interest because you're feeling so poorly and about the last thing you want to do is film that darn experience. And I can only relive in story form the past two weeks. It began with, uh, for me, two weeks ago, on Monday, today's Monday, and with this odd, very odd heartburn. And I, I don't have heartburn on uh, any kind of regular basis. Uh, I mean, once every ten years, something may happen. So, it was just, that was completely foreign. But with that heartburn, it just, there was, was like, what the heck? is this. It's like burning inside. And that was the first indication of something wasn't right. The following day started to get maybe a little congestion, but I just started to feel a little like as if you're sick. And of course right away you're thinking, oh, COVID. But no, I forced myself not to go that route and just accepted that I wasn't feeling 100%. I did go to the clinic that Saturday morning and for the first time since this began I had a COVID test and got the results in that afternoon and it was positive. <coughs> so I said darn and they offered an infusion so anyway, Daniel and Crystal, who had plans that Saturday, uh, changed plans and Daniel stayed home with me, took me to get the infusion, which ended up being like Saturday evening. And it lasted about an hour and I laid in the clinic and it was sort of like an IV. So that was the first step. Then uh, picked up antibiotic, another one, some vitamins like zinc and D3, an inhaler, cough syrup, the whole nine yards. So that was Saturday. And then on Sunday, that's when uh, I reached uh, the first height of the illness. And I have to tell you this on Sunday as I was moving around and realized uh, the congestion was pretty strong. And just the way I was feeling, I actually thought, okay, well, I may not pull through this one. And it was a real thing, a true real thing. And I walked around here accepting that I may die. And I had to, it was, uh, I know I don't mean to be dramatic or anything like that, but it was just like a plain and sim simple acceptance of, okay, because you've heard all these stories and and many people didn't make it. 
So I had to realize that I possibly wasn't going to make it either because of my weakness in this area to begin with. But anyways, I was in the other part of the building and I was trying to get my ducks in a row. Did I have anything left undone? Did I need to accomplish, uh, not accomplish, but what did I need to do if I, if I were gonna die, did I, what did I need to do? And I realized I pretty much had things laid out. There was nothing for me to do. I thought of one thing. One thing was just uh, with the people in my life, my brothers and sisters. And I thought of telling them each what they meant to me and how special they are and man, I don't want to start crying, but uh, that was one thing I thought of to do, but I couldn't do it. I was too sick and I thought, okay, I cannot, I mean, I couldn't take the time to express how much people meant to me. But that is one thing that I could have done. That was, that was it. Uh, to just let people know what I thought of them. I think I pulled myself together. And that, that was Sunday. And then on Monday, lo and behold, I felt slightly better. And I said, okay, hey, this is, this is great. Well, that was Monday. And then on Tuesday, I took a turn for the worse. And those were the two days, that Sunday and the Tuesday, where I really didn't know if I was going to pull through this one. And I managed to get through Tuesday. And it's just so hard to explain, but it has to do with, you know, your breathing, your congestion. And you realize that if you don't, you know, if the medication you're on, you're taking everything, you're doing all that you can do well, if all that's left is oxygen, and in hospitalization, well, then that's, that's not good. But it seemed like that's what I was facing, the alternative to what was going on. And, and I knew if I uh, left here, oh, that's right. And on that Monday, I had to go to the clinic and take a chest x-ray. And I couldn't know if they were going to say, okay, you need to be immediately hospitalized. Well, then I, I would know that I'm in pretty bad shape. But they didn't say that, and, and actually the chest x-ray turned out pretty well. So anyway, from that point on, I just kept on the medication. And after that Tuesday, where I felt really poor again, I began to climb out of that hole little by little and <clears throat> to where uh, we are today. So that is uh, my COVID experience in a nutshell. But, uh, but you have to live through all those days, all those hours. And you would think that it would be never ending, but it goes quickly, day after day, it goes quickly. And, you know, from Sunday to Wednesday to Saturday, it's like unbelievable. But here's the thing I wanted to just give uh, uh, just a 
grand thank you to Daniel and Crystal and the family for taking care of me, all of my needs, every little whim, any little situation I faced, they were there to help me through it. Provided all of my food to care the farm, anything I needed, they ran to the store and got it. So I just want to say thank you so much uh, folks to have on hand in a situation like this. So, uh, <clears throat> we'll take it from here. And one thing I did want to say during all of this that <clears throat> got to stay hydrated drinking just tons of bottled water. And I think that has really helped me. Tons of orange juice. And yesterday morning was the first time that I actually felt like I'm truly recovering and uh, doing better. And that was yesterday morning. By yesterday evening, I was just tore up and worn out, and it was like I had made no progress at all. It was pretty discouraging. But last night I had another uh, pretty good night's rest, and up and at it today. And I'm feeling better, but it doesn't last. I know that. I wanted to start recording and just to give you this um, very real account. I don't know what I'm really uh, providing. Uh, this is where I have lived and been for two solid weeks and this is the beginning of the third week. So. 